Why do the injuries generally occur? Normally it's too much change, too soon. That's in general, any, any injury to the body is, is a case of us loading it up more than the body has the ability to adapt to that loading. Okay, so your body's a fantastic machine and it has the ability to adapt to whatever stresses you put it under. So if you do weight training, your body will adapt and get stronger. And if you do more aerobic work, your aerobic system will adapt and, and become more efficient. Um, so your body can generally adapt to whatever you ask it to do, but if you ask it to change too quickly, that's when it starts to break down and there's an inflammatory process takes place, okay? Most often, it's gonna be the knee involved. So over 40% of running injuries occur at the knee joint, okay? Second to that, well, in the knee joint, you've got your IT band, which is a structure down the outside of the knee here. Um, often that's a, a problem area, or PFPS stands for patellofemoral pain syndrome and that's pain in and around the, the kneecap, okay? So generally it's, it's one of those two things that we'll see if people come in with a, um, you know, from repetitive mileage. Um, second to that then you've got injuries in and around the ankle joint, so your Achilles or, or calf muscle, and then thirdly then, and, and least common is kind of hip lower back area, um, that, that comes in there generally with the hip and lower back. Hip it's gonna be kind of outside of the hip area, um, and again, it's a lot to do with stability and strengthen around the hip um, and lower back again then just due to, due to impact absorption. We'll talk a bit, a bit more about that. So again, I just said most commonly it's mechanical irritation. So there's a structure in the body that's being annoyed because repetitively it's being asked to do a, a certain thing that it's not strong enough to tolerate. Okay? And again, body's ability to, to adapt, but, but we have to be mindful that we can't do that too, too quickly. Okay? Um, if we end up getting a niggle somewhere, the most important thing is to find a way to deal with the area. Okay, so if we're doing something that keeps annoying a structure, we have to like, and the most important thing is to find a way to be able to continue on without annoying it. Okay, and sometimes it involves rest or different things. So try and get your eight and a half hours per night, and that's as I say, that's as important as the running as well. So if you're not getting enough sleep and it's and it's very poor sleep, then you really have to think about a sleep strategy as well. And small things are just keeping the room very dark, um, keep it cool, limit your caffeine and alcohol intake, um, and even just thinking about increasing your, your sleep time or the amount of time you give in your day to sleep to maybe nine, nine and a half hours in the, in the time leading up to the marathon. And it's important to have a routine, so try and get into the habit of going to bed at the same time and getting up at the same time um, every day and, and kind of get, up, get into a routine with it. Um, if you're having bother sleeping ever, um, you can contact the GP and there's a good um, thing called melatonin at the minute. So it's naturally released in the body um, and generally it's, it's, it's linked to, to daytime. Okay, So whenever there's daylight, um, it's, it's linked to your melatonin release in the body. And it's freely available over in the States, but, but it's under GP refer up or GP um, access here. But if you take melatonin four hours before you want to sleep, it tricks your body into, into feeling tired and, and generally helps you out. So a lot of people use that when they're, when they're traveling to get over jet lag and different things like that. And it's really, really safe. If you're not currently doing strength work, um, I didn't want to be kind of encouraging it too much because as I say, you're best using the type of strategy in the, in the last couple of weeks that you've, you're familiar with and, and not introducing anything to you. But um, down the line, if you were ever thinking about anything, um, appropriate strength work is, is the way to go. And it's not all about kind of lifting light weights with high repetition. There's loads of good research now at the minute about um, lifting heavier weights with fewer repetitions um, to not only build up strength and improve performance, but also make the, um, the structures in the body more durable and able to tolerate more um, over longer, longer periods of time when you're running.